All right, everybody. Got quite a bit more done in the last few hours. I'm about to go to sleep here shortly, but figured I'd record this real quick. I'm working on the Sega system here. I'm weeding out the. I'm gonna finish this tomorrow, but about halfway through this, weeding these out and testing everything and config. I have to configure the controls for each one of these games separately in this system. It's just the way that emulator works. Um, but I'll show you this game I was playing a minute ago. Pretty cool. It's just another fighting game. I made this bezel. So I've set it as the only default bezel. Um... So if a, if a game doesn't have a specific, you know, a custom or specific bezel, it'll load that. Other than uh, N64 games, I cannot get N64 to work with the bezel, um, or of course the light gun games. Um, play this for a minute, and then I'll show you that even GameCube games uh, work with the bezel. Just that N64. Of course, it's an odd, odd one out. It's a weird system. Damn, I smoked his ass. Sorry, bud roll. Get out of here! Get the out of here! All right. Okay, Bucko. I guess this is the guy's name. Um. Yeah. I actually want to show how good that these games look. It's pretty uh. Pretty amazing. I might try to find a new emulator. I've been using Project 64 for a decade or more, but I don't like these text boxes. In some games, you'll see remnants of it, um, like F Zero. Um, so I may try to find a new emulator for this that eliminates some of these problems. One being the uh, incompatibility with bezels. And Two being that uh, artifact issue. This is prob this might slow down or have sound issues. Um, probably because I'm recording also. Or it might not load. Oh, there it is. I mean, this just looks. Oh God, configuring this these tank controls. Yeah, I forgot. I have. It's the only thing. This N64 is kind of a bitch. They had between the weird controller and all the other shit. It's just been a pain in the ass. I had to set up a separate configuration for shooting games because of the tank style controls, and the only way to switch uh, controller configs is to do it outside of hyperspin so I don't have that set right now but you can see I mean it's just this is max settings I think it looks awesome um do that GameCube game and then I'm about to go to bed Also figured that issue where it had the system config. It was I had too many copies of this emulator. I had to clear out um, the copies and some of the 
files I didn't need when I was testing things, so got that working. Here, got this working. Like I said this will look even better when the new card comes here in a couple weeks or a week away, whenever it comes. It's coming from China, so see what it gets here. I think this is running full speed though because this is on the lowest settings. I mean, this is still serviceable. This looks, I mean, I could play this. This is how I played it originally. I mean, it might even be better than what it, I mean, look like because it's not on CRT, but um, it would be, it's going to be awesome to see it in a better, better clarity. It is running this, uh, it looks to be full speed or close to full speed. I don't have the FPS counter on. Show you, you uh, what else I got? Um, pilot kids, that was kind of cool. This is like a shoot em up. I don't know what you. Oh, huh. I guess I didn't save my config. It's alright. Um, alright. Should be it. Peace.